In today's episode, you will learn how to make a real-time clock using Arduino, RTC DS3231 module and a 16 into 2 LCD. This is my first tutorial on the RTC DS3231 real-time clock and in this tutorial, I will explain the extreme basics. While in my upcoming tutorial, I will use the same DS3231 module in the battery efficiency monitoring system. In this project, the battery voltage is stored in the Arduino along with the date and time information. The information which is stored in the Arduino can be requested through Bluetooth using the cell phone application. The data which is received from the Arduino is stored in the database for the post analysis. So subscribe right now and click the bell icon so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. In today's episode, we will cover number one, RTC DS3231 module pinout. Number two, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number three, programming and finally number four, testing. Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the RTC DS3231 module. The RTC stands for real-time clock. You might be thinking why we need the RTC DS3231 module when the Arduino itself has the built-in timekeeper. Arduino is really powerful and we can make a real-time clock. But the problem comes in when the Arduino is turned off or the power is disconnected. The time and date information is completely lost. But if you look at the RTC DS3231 module, it has a battery and can keep track of the time and date information even if the main power supply is disconnected or we reprogram the microcontroller. The RTC DS3231 is a low-cost, highly accurate real-time clock which can maintain hours, minutes and seconds. This module can also maintain the day, month and year information. The RTC DS3231 module also has automatic compensation for leap years and for months with fewer than 31 days. This module can be powered up using 3.3 volts or 5 volts. As you can see clearly the DS3231 module has total of 6 male headers and are clearly labeled. Out of these 6 pins we will be using only 4 pins which are the SCL, SDA, VCC and ground. This is the 16 into 2 LCD. As you can see, I have already soldered some jumper wires. I have a very detailed getting started tutorial on the 16 into 2 LCD, which covers the extreme basics, like for example, soldering, interfacing, and basic programming. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. Now let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. This is the complete circuit diagram explaining how a 16 into LCD and RTC DS3231 module is connected with the Arduino. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see, the ground of the Arduino is connected with pin number 1. 5 and pin number 16 of the LCD. 5 volt from the Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15. The middle pin of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD. While the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volt. Pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pins D7 to D4 of the LCD. RTC DS3231 module and 16 into 2 LCD interfacing with the Arduino is ace for the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's discuss the programming. 
The wire.h and rtclib.h libraries can be downloaded from my website. I will provide a link in the description. Days of the week is an array of the time character and as you can see it consists of the seven days Sunday to Saturday. Then I defined the variables day, month, year, seconds, minutes and hours. These variables are of the type integer and will be used to store the date and time information separately. Then I define these variables which are of the type string. These are the LCD pins which I have already explained in the circuit diagram. The white setup function consists of the basic instructions which are well commented. Then starts the white loop function. To clear the LCD, we use lcd.clear function. To access the day, we simply use day equals now.day function. For the month, we use month is equal to now.month. And similarly, for the year, second, hour, and minute. This instruction is used to make the complete string message consisting of the date information. And similarly, my time variable stores the complete time information. These instructions are used to send the date and time information to the serial monitor for the debugging purposes. While these instructions are used to print the date and time on the LCD. Zero means first row while one means second row. Finally, we empty both the variables and we use a delay of one second. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.